Hello everyone, good morning to you. Got a new cup today, uh, Lee's Pies. A great restaurant between uh, Bunky and Alexandria on Highway 71. Uh, known for, yes, yes, they're known for their uh, southern country food, but also they're known for their pies, for sure. Uh, thank you, Clayton Mitchell, for the new coffee cup. Man, this is a big, thick one. You know what I'm saying? Those thick diner coffee cups. Thank you, Clayton Mitchell. Thank you so very much. Eleanor Roosevelt said that you leave either a mark or a stain. When you leave this world, either you leave a mark or a stain. I wonder today, right now, if you were to pass away, uh, what you would leave, a mark or a stain. I know we don't like talking about it, but the Bible says it is appointed unto man a time to die. The Bible also gives us example of people who left a mark and people who left a stain. Queen Esther left her mark. Queen Jezebel left a stain. Peter left his mark. He wasn't perfect, but he left his mark. And Judas left a stain. King David left his mark. Again, he wasn't perfect either, but the Bible says he was a man after God's own heart. He had a repentant heart, and he made a lot of blunders, and he had a lot of stains. But when it was all said and done, he left his mark. He didn't leave a stain. King Saul left a stain. What are you leaving behind? If you left today, this world, what would you leave behind? A mark or a stain? I want to leave a mark, and I'm sure you do as well. I don't want to, uh, to leave a stain. I want to leave a mark. I want to leave this world better um, than it was when I came into it. I want to, I want to help folks. I want to do good. I want to be a Christian above all else. Uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, before anything and everything, you want to make sure that you you were a Christian. And when they lay you in that tomb, in that grave, they can say truly, truly, hey, he was he was a Christian. He left a mark. He didn't leave a stain. Again, not to say you're perfect, not to say you make blunders, not to stain the, not to say you won't have some stained situations in your life. But above all else. The great thing to know is that if you have stains even today up to this point, the Lord can forgive you. Jesus can forgive you. If you go to him and say, God, forgive me. Jesus, I repent. Forgive me. I'm turning from that. I want to I wanna have a better life. I want to do better. The Lord can help you. On your own, you're going to struggle. But if you ask God to help you, he's going to help you leave a mark and not a stain. Lee's pies are known for their pies. What are you known for? What are you known for? What are you known for? Are you known as a person who gossips? Are you known as a person who stirs the pot? Are you known as a peacemaker? Are you known as someone that's always angry, uh, always riled up about something, always offended? Are you always uh, the victim or are you the victor? Are you always that person that is the peace speaker and the peacemaker? Uh, do you try to make things better? Do you try to calm things down? Do you try to help when you can? What are you known for? What are you known for? Are you known as someone who's mean and ruthless and judgmental? Or are you known as a person that has compassion? A person that truly uh, loves? A person that truly, truly has the fruit of the Spirit evident in their life? Are you someone that people can call and say, hey, pray for me because I'm, I'm in need of prayer? Are you known as that someone who is a praying person? What are you known for? What are you known for? And what are you going to leave behind, a stain or a mark? God bless you on this uh, Thursday. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching Coffee with the Pastor.